a story that shows how the power of dance is helping change lives in our area. Here's a closer look at ballet without any board boundaries. Little ballerina Holly Shimshack has muscular dystrophy. You try to keep your legs straight. Yeah. She loves to dance. Her parents will try anything they can to help strengthen her muscles, which are slowly deteriorating. It gives her a chance to do her therapy outside of a hospital setting, doctor's office setting, and it's more fun for her because she gets to just move around with ballerinas. Thanks to a partnership between Milwaukee Ballet and Children's Hospital called Tour de Force, professional dancers, physical therapists, and children with a variety of physical disabilities meet here once a week and also practice at home. She'll grab on to the like counter. the kitchen counter or anything and you'll see her just out of the blue, she'll start doing it. You are gonna be first, aren't you? There's a class dedicated to kids who require wheelchairs. The instructors choreograph dances using the chairs and say they are the ones who get the most out of this experience. It has helped me grow as a person in general and as an, as an artist. So when I'm dancing and I sometimes feel like giving up, I think of those kids and I'm like, well, if they can do it, so why couldn't I? Seeing the progress in the kids, you know, sometimes they have a hard day, sometimes they have an easy day, but you see them improve over the course of these classes. Yeah, it's wonderful to see. It's really moving, it can be very emotional. I'm always happy when I leave here. Such an amazing program.